Hello my children, how are you today? I wish you a good day and I wish you to be in a good health. Welcome to our English lesson today. Today we are going to talk about a new lesson. Let's start with an opener, grammar. Okay. Here, correct the verbs between brackets. Okay. She have long hair, but now it is short. So... She used to have long hair, but now it is short. Natasha not go to bed early, but now she is always asleep by 10 p.m. Okay, so Natasha didn't used to go to bed early, but now she is always asleep by 10 p.m. Okay, let's begin our journey, our journey, shall we? How does he feel? Look at this man, how does he feel? Okay. He's, he is so worried. He is so worried. Okay. Worried, worried. Okay, I'm worried, I'm worried, okay, don't worry, don't worry, be happy, yes, so, who do you think she is worried about, who do you think she is worried about, yes, she's worried about her daughter, she's worried about her daughter, daughter okay the mother the mother's daughter is so cute the mother's what daughter is so cute okay daughter daughter let's watch a program on road safety okay program 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 okay just because I'm a pedestrian doesn't mean I'm nobody. Just because I'm a driver doesn't mean I can see you. Just because you're at the speed limit doesn't mean you're not dangerous. Just because you're in a rush doesn't mean you can ignore the crossing. Just because you're driving doesn't take away my right of way. Just because it seems clear doesn't mean you shouldn't stop. Just because you are surrounded by metal doesn't mean I'm not flesh and blood. Just because your friends are chatting doesn't mean it's safe for you. Just because I'm in trainers doesn't mean you can run me down. Just because you're nearly home doesn't mean you are. One in every five road deaths is a pedestrian. Just because you use the road doesn't mean you own it. Respect everyone's journey. From DOE. So, my children, we should all respect the traffic rules to be safe. Okay? So, my children, we have some new words. Look at the picture and say the new words. Program. Daughter. Worried. Okay. Please, my children, open your student's book on at page 31. Okay, marks, we have here quotation marks. Quotation marks are used to show someone's exact words. They go before and after the person's words. Pl place a comma after the word that lets you know someone's talking. Don't forget, don't 
forget the capital letter okay quotation marks show when someone is speaking they go before and after someone's words did you like this book ask it the ask it the teacher Tim replied it was the best book ever okay look at the quotation marks here okay watch how to use quotation marks I like to think of the quotation mark as the punctuation that can save your job or save your grade in the class and that's because we use a quotation mark to attribute ideas and words uh, to the original speaker so you use a quotation mark to show that someone else has said something either uh, verbally or they've written it on the page and if you don't use the quotation mark when you are you know, duplicating someone's work is what we call plagiarism. We definitely want to avoid that. Grammatically speaking, punctuating the quotation mark can be a little bit tricky, so I'll show you a few examples. Quotation marks often take two forms. We'll either lead with the quotation and give the attribution at the end of the sentence, or we'll lead with the attribution and end with the quotation. So here's an example of how to punctuate a sentence where we lead with the quotation. We have, it's a lovely day, Jim said. Well, in this case, notice that we start with the quotation mark, we capitalize the first word, and we keep the comma inside of the quotation mark. In other words, we, we tuck the punctuation inside of those quotes. And then we give the attribution, Jim said, and the period doesn't come until the very end of the sentence. Now in this sentence, we've flipped the order and we're starting with the attribution. So we say, Jim said, we capitalize J because it's the beginning of the sentence. And this time we put the comma after said, and then we launch into the quote. So Jim said, comma, quotation mark, capital, it's a lovely day, period, quotation mark can be a little tricky because sometimes the comma goes inside of the quotation, sometimes it goes outside, and it depends on how you're setting your sentence up. So let's say that it's such a nice day out that Jim tells his coworkers he's sick and he gets out of the office for the day. Well, I might say something like, Jim said he was feeling sick, but we're skeptical. So you can see that this has taken on a different form because we're only quoting a small part of something that Jim said, not a complete sentence. And we're tucking it into our sentence so that even without the quotation marks, it would read well. It would read as a complete sentence. Jim said he was feeling sick, but we're skeptical. So in this case, you can put the quotations around his partial quote, and you don't have to capitalize the first word of his quote. So I hope that this makes using quotation marks a little bit clearer for you. Okay, my children. Now, look at the punctuation marks in these sentences. The receptionist told them a man, just, uh, a man has just asked about the girl. Where is he? Asked the doctor. He's gone, said the receptionist. He left hastily. Okay, my children. The receptionist, okay, a man has just asked about the girl. The receptionist told them a man has just asked about the girl. Here, here we put the quotation marks. Okay, where is he? The doctor, where is he? Where is he? We put here the quotation mark, question mark, ask the doctor, and we put full stop. He's gone. The receptionist, he's gone. So here, he's gone, said the receptionist. Okay. Okay. 
Exercise number 10. Ask for a friend this question. Write down what he or she says. Use the correct punctuation marks. Okay. So, my children, try to think. Now, check your answers. Okay. How old are you? I'm 12 years old. So, I'm 12 years old, said Jumana. What is your father's job? My father's job. My father is a doctor. My father is a doctor, said Jumana. Okay. What are you doing at the weekend? I'm visiting my grandma. I'm visiting my grandma, said Jumana. Okay. Where are you going on holiday this year? I'm going to Turkey. Okay. I'm going to Turkey, said Jumana. Time to role play. Okay. A local television, a local TV program, safe, road safety episode two. Okay. What happened in the next episode of the story? Look at the picture and tell the story. Okay, my children. Here, in your own words, write an ending to the story. Try to think. Okay, my children. Tell the story. Look at the picture and try to tell the story. Okay, now, my children, open your workbook at page 22. Okay. Remember. Okay, remember, there are two types of question. First one, yes, no question. We have an example. Did you do your homework? The, un the answer is yes, I did or no, I didn't. WH questions, what we are going to use, what, where, why, how. For example, where did you go yesterday? The answer is I went to school. Did you do you did you do you homework? Yes yes I do. Did you do your homework? Yes I do. Did you do your homework? No I didn't. Okay, what did you do yesterday? I cleaned my room. Okay. Where did you go yesterday? I went to the gate mall yesterday. What did you do there? Okay. Now, my children, exercise number five. Write a full stop or question mark. Okay. Check your answer. The girl didn't have a broken arm. We hear we bought full stop. Did the... Did the ambulance drive quickly we here we have a question we so we put question uh, question mark do you know who broke the car here this is a question so we put a question mark number four a man spoke to the receptionist here we put full stop where did the girl come from here this is a question so we are going to put a question mark okay Exercise number six. Okay, my children. Look at the exercise and try to write the answer. Then ask. Then ask and answer with a friend. Okay, my children. Let's just check. What happened? Policeman asked the receptionist. What happened? A car hit a girl. What's her name? We don't know. She can't remember. How old is her? We think she is about 13. How tall is she? She is 1 meter 20. Has she got a long has she got long hair? No, it's short. Okay, thank you my children. See you. Goodbye.